March 26, 1987. Vasula writes, Here below God gave me a vision. The Lord speaks, Delight me, Vasula, and understand that I, God, am one. I will dearly wish to show you more of my glory. Child, do you know how heaven was created? She answers, By you, through you. Yes, I have measured every width, height and depth, and all dimensions are perfect. Every little living creature comes from me, and is truly mine. All life comes from me. My breath is life. Do you wish to learn more about my heavenly works? She answers, Yes, Lord. Then let us have a walk in my glory. Vasula writes, I found myself walking with God's presence, in a beautiful garden, very colourful, plenty of bright light, but not from a normal sun. While walking I noticed an enormous ball of light, almost touching the horizon. It was like a big sun, but one could look at it without having the eyes burnt. The Lord says, How do you feel, daughter? She answers, It's beautiful. It's all strange. The Lord asks, What can you see? She answers, This sort of sun. Yes, it is my holy abode. And what can you see around that light? She answers, First it appeared to me that it was spots which moved around it. But then they turned out to be little angels encircling it. They appeared to be millions of them. The Lord says, They are cherubims encircling my glory. What else do you see? She answers, Some steps going inside the sun. The Lord speaks, Let us enter this light. Are you ready? Take off your shoes, for we are entering on holy ground. We are now inside the light. Vasula writes, I thought, by entering it, I would find myself in very bright light, but no, everything was of blue colour. But what struck me most is the silence and the feeling of peace and holiness. It was amazing. Inside all was a circle. The Lord speaks. Yes, it is a circle. Vasula writes. The wall around us was no wall, but living things. They were angels, a wall of angels, and closing like a dome the ceiling, made by angels, all blue. There were millions, billions, one stuck to the other. There were tall angels, one on top of another, stuck all together, forming a solid wall. The Lord speaks. My seraphs are guarding this holy place and worshipping me incessantly. Can you hear them? Holy of holies, holy is the our God most high. Vasula asks, How many are there, Lord? The Lord answers, Thousands. My child, Who is this with the gold sword and so beautiful? She says, I don't know. Vasula writes, I saw someone like an angel, which differed from the others, because he was normal colour, dressed in a long white robe, golden hair to the shoulders, and he held in his hand a beautiful gold sword, glittering, and his robe was the purest of whites. The Lord speaks, Vasula, the sword is my word, my word is pure, it pierces and illuminates. She writes, suddenly the dome opened like a flower. Behold, little one, try to discern. I am near you, helping you. You will see above you now the holy battle that is to come. O daughter, keep a vigilant look around you and be aware that evil exists. Can you see anything? She writes, I saw when this wall opened like a flower, horses with black velvety fierce eyes. The image went further away, and I saw a battle. The Lord speaks. My battle will combat Satan and his followers, including all those that tried to destroy my law. Remember that I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. My word is everlasting. Now what can you see? 
she answers, a reptile, like a big snake, which was thrown down from the horse. The Lord speaks. This dragon, under the lance of my saint, the footnote reads, Saint Michael, will be conquered. When this will be done, all his followers will fall too. Fasula, will you come now to my see my hall of judgment? She writes, I saw a big hall, but no one there yet. Suddenly in one corner I saw a group. She writes in brackets, souls. It was the clatter of chains that made me look. They seemed haggard beyond description and spotted with charcoal or some black spots. They seemed scared, uncertain as to where they were. They did not see us. They seemed to be surprised by their surroundings. The Lord speaks. Listen to the trumpets. They are my angels announcing me. Give me your hand, for you are my little visitor. Yes, every angel falls prostrate before me. Have you seen this multitude of souls? They have just arrived from the underground. The footnote reads, Purgatory, at Satan's gates, very low. These are tormented souls who have been released. They were at Satan's gates. She asks, who who released them? The Lord answers, I did, with my heavenly works, and all who amend and love me. You see why I want you to love me? The deeper you love me, the better chance they have to be lifted and come to me. Do you want to know what will become of these souls? She answers, Yes, Lord, what happens now? Let me tell you, I will baptise them with my Holy Spirit and free them completely, for not until they would be baptised by the Holy Spirit would they be able to share my kingdom. Vasula asks, you mean these were not baptised? The Lord answers, they were not. Would they want to? The Lord answers, yes, they want. Come, I will explain. Let us sit. What you saw was only an image of them. They were not really in my hall. Souls are not judged until the end. Vasula asks, where were the souls if they were not in your hall? The Lord answers, These souls were in Hades, the footnote reads in Greek, purgatory. By being in Hades, they are helpless. When you choose me and desire to follow me, you are saved. But if you fail to recognise me, because of this obduracy, you will fall. Where you will go will be endless martyrdom, the footnote reads in hell. I must warn you all. Not that it has not been said before, but if anyone blasphemes the Holy Spirit, they will never be forgiven, for this is my law. Lower your eyes before me, child. Fasula writes, I did. Let me bless you. I forgive your sins. Say these words. May the Lord God, may the Lord and God Almighty be blessed. May his kingdom reign in eternal glory. May his holy name be glorified. May his word penetrate and rest in each heart. Amen. Fasula, do no more today. Rest. I will dictate tomorrow my message. Fasula writes, I felt God suddenly embittered. The Lord speaks, About those who represent me, but are not giving me enough love, nor draw from my infinite love either, daughter. Come, keep me company. I need to rest, the footnote reads, to be consoled in a loving heart. Come nearer to me, share my sorrow. Fasula says, My God, I'll do as you want, but also do not forget that there are many who love you dearly, and do not forget their sacrifices showing their love for you. The Lord speaks. Yes, they uplift my sorrows and soothe my wounds, but I need larger amounts of souls like these, ready to amend and diffuse my infinite love, spreading it like mist. I desire that they open their hearts and receive me. I will fill their hearts with my love, and when their hearts will overflow with love, they will be able to diffuse it and feed my lambs. 
Beloved, will you let me rest in you now? Fasula answers, Yes, my God, do. Will you rest in me? Yes, my God, I will. The Lord says, Come then, I love you. Fasula answers, I love you too, my God. <laughs> 